Got that submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Flo Oi! Don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and... You know, well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, all right. The, the bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Day's work. There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I see one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the and the mercenary foes on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution. They behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power, guns and anabolic steroids. Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Meriwether are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them! Oh, great. Well, look forward to that. Okay, well, that's more like it. I'm here. Oh, Jesus. It's just down the road. Los Santos Marine, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. 
You threatened and controlled and tricked me. You don't want to cut? Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. Uh, you can park it there. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. Uh, sorry. Guys, I'm expecting company, all I want right? this place clean. Wade, you tidy. Floyd, massage. Uh, no, no, I really oh, don't. Do you want me to get my dick out again? No, no, huh? no, no. Does anyone want that? No, no, you're right, you're right. You're... Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, hey, bro, you're late. Nine years fucking late. You know, you're so late, in fact, that you have no right to call me, bro. Is that clear? Ah, uh, shut the fuck up. You're like a broken fucking record. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, you're like a shit. Exactly like a shit. Where's the assistant? On his way. Uh, kid idolized us. He gives me creeps. Yo! Uh, yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. Ah, oh, nattering. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever, man. So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah, I've done most of the planning, and uh, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's, apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way, because as I recall the last time when we did it your way, we all got shot at, you got buried, resurrected, turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison! Yeah, and Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. Would you shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, owe me, all right? So this time, we do things my way. <laughs> yeah, and what about after this? After this, we think about things. So what's the plan? Easy. We are sinking a freighter into Los Santos Harbor, all right? Now, Daddy's little helper, you're gonna be on the bridge, all right? You're the lookout. And you, you're boarding the freighter and planting charges. Me, I'm running the deep water salvage operation with a little help from my friends. Uh, you, fat man, of course, well, you're not one of those friends. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck, where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? Man, fuck you. Ah, better. I like that. Fuck you, good, good, all right. Now let's go make some money, ladies, huh? Brilliant. Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master. Let's go, Junior. Hey, wait, get Michael a wetsuit, all right? Take him to the boat. Oh. Stop dragging your heels, kid! We need ah! Ah! Stop dragging your heels, kid! We need some transport! Hold on! Okay, I'm taking you to the port city side of the Miriam Turner overpass. Almost forgot! Here's the rifle with a the thermal scope. Almost forgot? I was kinda sold on, like, a well-organized job, planned out, with Lester's weird eye for detail. I got an eye for details, kid. Little details like your brick of... What the fuck? Your brick of...
your brick of glow being drywall. Uh, okay, man. I'm grateful for that, dog. But, but buying cocaine is a whole different thing from sinking a container ship into a harbor. Uh, not really, kid. It's all about what's inside. Cool. So, what's the thing, man? I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. You heard of Meriwether? Uh, yeah, maybe. Meriwether Security Consulting, the company our government uses to fight its wars and protect its shady interests all over the planet. They're the army? They're like the army, only they're private, so they cost more. Anyway, they've just been cleared to take government contracts on U.S. soil. And what's one of the first on the list? This container at the port? Exactamundo! So it's gotta be valuable, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter, because your job is not to understand. It's to shoot at people who try to stop us. Stop the car in the medium here. Get out, find your spot on the side of the bridge, and call Michael. All right, man, whatever. Shit. Hey, dog, I'm in position. Let me know when you're ready. All right, F, I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, I got you, homie. Hey, yo, there's two guards. These are bad dudes, right? It's clear, man. Climb aboard. Things I do for old friends. I got four bombs to plant, kid. Look out for me while I do it. They calling this ship in numbers, man. You gonna set up that bomb? First bomb, ready to go. I'm moving up to position two. Hey, do this quick, man. I don't know how much backup they got below deck. I can do it quick or I can do it right, okay? Okay, going down the ladder. Second charge set. Two to go. Hey, if this is Trevor's thing, why ain't he doing any other wet work? Cuz, he's screwing around in a submarine. I don't know how we got roped into this shit. I'm moving. Thing. Why ain't he doing any other wet work? Cuz, he's screwing around in a submarine. I don't know how we got roped into this shit. Running! Here I go! This guy. He heard something. Take him down. Looks clear. Rig the bomb. Don't you got a bomb to sit around? Down here? Third charge is set. I gotta go inside for the last one. Come to the south side. I'll clear the entrance for you. The 
doors up a level above me. Doors here. Get back to where I can see you as soon as you can. I'm not gonna screw around in here, all right? Just tell me when you planted it. Oh, shit. The alarm's gone, man. You okay? Are you okay, man? You gotta go. Bunch of guys in Port City, they caught me on the bridge, man. I'll clear as many as I can from the front of the ship.
heard the ship going down, so I can probably knock it around, right? Man, you can say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, let's hope so. Hey, is that Lester? What? Hey, man, what the fuck you doing here? You should be in bed. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves the enemies of the state. Woo! You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA, you can fuck with them all day long, but... When you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is gonna be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps! Ho hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What'd you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Whoa! Holy fuck, Lester Crest! Holding on and looking good, huh? Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah, I pulled a score. What, are you jealous because you didn't get your 20%? If that thing doesn't go back, then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking watch! So they don't watch, they kill. Idiot, we'll all be dead within a week. Think! All right, listen. Take the truck, take a guy, do what you gotta do. Trevor? All loaded up. Uh, Trevor? Great. Then you and the patient can take it all back. Right fucking now! So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. Fuck! Come on, Franklin. You owe me, Michael. I am owed. What you gonna do, huh? I think of something. I gotta get Franklin some work, too. Yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of mouths to feed, amigo. Tell me about it. guy stealing contracts. You clerked a farm, killed my brothers. You had too many brothers. They needed culling. You're fucking dead. Aren't we all? We live and we die. That's our curse. Hey, you want to expedite the situation? Come fucking find me. Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck. I'll be there, man. I don't know when, but I'll be there.
shit. We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You killed people. You... Here's Trevor. Get your raid! Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts! Listen. We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid! It's a major problem. And now they've secured some... funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bombs are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises. And we're gold. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. Guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back to the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. All right, man. I've got you, dog. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Fight me.
Sanitation trucks there now, so don't you bother. Man, are you serious? This motherfucker is fly. Glad you like it. As I told you, it's yours. Are you seriously serious? For the fifth time, yes. But well, I gotta go. I'll be in touch about our little venture. Man, good looking. Yeah! This motherfucker. Woo! I just feel immediately less cool when you walk in. Hey y'all, we got ourselves some boiler suits.
Watch out, man! Hey, the tow truck's at the lot, dog. Ready to go. You got off lucky, man. I handled the mask, man. Don't worry about it. Good news. Fuck me! He 
here, man. Man, I'm a hypocrite. What a gentleman. And for once, I'm not being sarcastic. Where you at, Mr. Revolutionary? What? The smoke in. I'm at City Hall. I'm the only fool here. Uh, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. I, uh, uh, I didn't forget I was busy. Yeah, busy, that's it. <laughs> Fight the power. This motherfucker. Flaky motherfucker, I should have known. No! Shit. You're kidding! You got off lucky, homie. I am not 
Hey, I got a ride for our getaway, homie. Well done. Where's it stored? Peel Box Hill. Okay, that's everything. Come back to the lot and I'll talk you through the plan. When we get the stuff, Steve says we gotta take it to Devin Weston, the guy we met at that interrogation. It's a big investor or something. Anyway, that don't matter. I'll handle the drop-off. What's cracking? What's he at? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. 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 Right. Let's sit up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here, in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley, in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, <sighs> on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, let's go.
All right, T. I'm in position. What's the ETA? Looking for him. I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. All right, Mike, move it! Get the truck in position. Block both lanes of traffic. Just stop the truck and keep it stationary. All right, I pulled up. Get ready, Frank. Sanitation aren't meant to be here today. Hey, man, I got these motherfuckers! Tripped. The cops will be swarming here in 10 seconds. You better run. Shut the fuck up. Come on. Good to go. Sounds like they coming in numbers, homie. They got a panic button, all right. Whole lot of cops on the way. Yep, you're uncovered by those barriers there. I'll be up here. Fuck. Fall back. We'll never get out of here. We got a whole position. Hey, man, we sitting ducks right here. You look after yourself, dog, all right?
Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom, so long, motherfucker. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. 
I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very well. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're going to be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Almost the fire, amigo. It's all yours. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. 
him and my son. They want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. See you on the set, boss. Inside. Gianni, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Excuse me. 
can't be here. Hold on. Ah! Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> uh. make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay? Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. We are not going anywhere. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. I should never have left that track then this morning. Solomon's office. Come on. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So, Solomon, 
Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Bullshit. Mmm. What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie.
Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Good oh, asshole, driver! Seven millimeters. Hey, the fuck does hey, seven? How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, Ooh the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. Ain't gonna stop with us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Stay with them. Finally, it looks 
You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Hello? Hey, you that lady? The intense dude is a... Assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devon Weston Holdings. I need to tell Devon we got them calls. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey, man, you know how hard it was to drive slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. So Devin's lawyer says we gotta take them to Hayes Autos in South LA. I'm gonna be there well ahead of you. Asshole! Well, I ain't waiting around, man. Let's go, but uh, don't mess up the cars, you hear me? Hey, it ain't no fun if no one's pushing me. Come on, dudes. The lead horse always burns out before the end. Yeah. What did I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I... I met you, I was boosting rides and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I be doing. So thanks, dawg. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I be at anyway. Wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they were. You know what I'm saying? Sound that different, to be honest. Well, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. We waiting at the finish line. Man, I don't know what's up with this road.
gentlemen, I love you all. Oh God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick. Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. 